Hello, welcome to another One Minute Monday. Today I am in Stockwoods, which is just on the edge of Exeter, and it's beautiful. The trees look amazing, it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, the question is, why would you bother using a 24 hour clock? And I'm here to tell you that I think there are some situations where it's really, really useful. Um, so, uh, well, I'm sure we know how to use a 24 hour clock, but a quick reminder for those that don't bother using it or uh, are not familiar with it. All it is, is that when you get to 12 o'clock midday, instead of then going one o'clock in the afternoon, two in the afternoon, um, you just keep counting up. So you, it would be, instead of one, 13, and then 14 and 15, okay? And actually, what that means is all you have to do is add on 12 to whatever the time in the 12 hour clock is, okay? So three in the afternoon becomes 15, 15 o'clock or 1500 hours, is that's kind of that military thing, isn't it? That's where that comes from. Nine o'clock in the evening becomes 21 because we've just added 12 on. And to go back the other way, you just take 12 off. So 2300 hours, uh, take 12 off, that's 11. So that's 11 p.m., 11 in the evening, okay? So that's a quick reminder of how to use a 24 hour clock. But so the why do we use it? I find it really, really useful if I'm trying to work out how long it is, say between nine in the morning and three in the afternoon. Now, probably when I was using the 12 hour clock, I would have just counted up literally on my fingers. So 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and then one, two, three, so six hours, right? And that, that's, that's actually still reasonably straightforward, but you know, you have to get your hands out and well, that's fine as well, isn't it? But I think the 24 hour clock is much easier. So if you think about uh, three in the afternoon as being 15, then you're just trying to find the difference between 15 and nine. So that's just 15 take away nine, which is six. Oh, so it's six hours from nine in the morning to three in the afternoon. Let's say you want to know the difference between, let's say 6.30 in the morning and nine o'clock at night. Well, what I would do, I would start at, I'm, I'll worry about the half an hour later and I'm just gonna work out what it is from seven in the morning till nine at night. Well, nine is 21. So 21 take away seven is 14. So that's 14 hours from seven until nine. Then I've just got to add on an extra half an hour. Uh, so that's 14 and a half hours. Um, I'll do one final example. Uh, let's say I want to know the difference between, what should we say, 5.30 in the morning and two o'clock in the afternoon. 5.30 in the morning and two o'clock in the afternoon. Well, two o'clock is 14. So again, I'm gonna, instead of thinking of 5.30, I'm gonna round it up to six o'clock and I'm gonna add on that half an hour later on, okay? So it's just 14, take away six, which is eight. And then I've got that extra half an hour, okay? So eight and a half. So it's just eight and a half hours. That is it. That's a, that I genuinely use that frequently because I used to get quite confused with the 12 hour thing and having to do it on my fingers and I find the 24 hour clock much, much easier to do that. Um, that is another, that is this week's One Minute Monday. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you next week for more quick tips and tricks.